For this test, you're going to need some basic equipment. A metal tin or can, a big bean tin is fine. A piece of plywood or something similar to put the flame out at the end of the test. A digital thermometer and a gas blowtorch of the sort that plumbers use. And of course, a sample of the fuel you want to test. Half fill the can with the fuel sample. Once you've finished that, put the cap back on and move the sample well away from the test site. Put the thermometer into the fuel. Uh, as you can see, it's at roughly room temperature, 20 degrees at the moment. And pass the flame over the top of the can two or three times slowly. Nothing happened, so put your thermometer into the fuel and use the gas flame to gently heat the sample up. You want it to rise about 5 degrees. So you can see we're at 25 degrees centigrade now. Remove the thermometer and again pass the flame over the top of the can. Nothing happened, so go back to heating. Heat it up another 5 degrees. When you're doing this, when you're passing the flame over the can, pass it over slowly enough that it touches the surface of the fuel, but not so slowly that it begins to heat the fuel. Uh, it's a bit of a knack. You've got to keep trying it and get it right. So now we've got to 30 degrees. We've tried it. It still hasn't flashed, but it's being kerosene, it probably will soon. So we'll heat it up this time to 35 degrees. Now, as you can see, there was a flicker of flame this time. It can't sustain a flame, but it does try to flash. So now we're going to 40 degrees. 40 degrees centigrade should be the flash point of kerosene. And yes, you can see it has caught fire. Now, before it gets out of control or heats up too dangerously, Place your piece of plywood over the tin and put out the fire. 